I'm John Akula, and I teach law at MIT Sloan. And standing here to my right is Jim Lampert, who is the lecturer who's going to uh, take you through a very interesting intellectual journey on what entrepreneurs really need to know about IP. Um, before Jim gets started, let me say a few words of introduction. Um, Jim's career very much mirrors the uh, vastly expanding importance of IP in the American economy. If you go back 40 years, most major law firms did not have any in-house intellectual property capability. They farmed it out to smaller boutique firms. They didn't think it was important enough for them to do themselves. Jim started his career in one of those firms. In fact, the firm that was probably at that time the most highly regarded in the country. But then he got a call from one of the really major business firms that had a full service practice, and they had decided that they needed to know something about IP. It was too important to leave out. And he was given a, a position at Hale and Door, a firm now known as Wilmer Hale, uh, to start up and build an IP practice. And that's what he did for roughly the next 30 years. He was tremendously successful, and he was considered one of the leading IP lawyers in the country. Uh, when he retired a few years back, it was a lucky day for MIT, because since then he's been spending a lot of time here uh, helping us uh, beef up and improve the way our law curriculum addresses IP concerns. Um, he is going to spend uh, the next several months with us doing one lecture a month and one question and answer period a month. The details of the format you can find on the boot camp webpage. Um, let me just make one more comment before I turn things over to Jim. One of the reasons I'm so very glad he was willing to take this on is that IP law and the role it plays in the careers of very innovative people and of very innovative companies is, rel is almost unique. IP law, much more than most of the bodies of law that will apply to your careers or your businesses, is very grainy and very unforgiving, much more so than is usually the case. You either get it right or you mess it up. And um, that is why I'm so glad that Jim's going to be able to take the time in the course of this program to go into a good deal of depth as to how you get it right. And so without, with no further ado, let me welcome Jim and Thank turn the John. podium over to him. 